Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm going over the second video in a series I'm doing on sales compensation. So if you didn't see the first video, I'll link to that in the comments. That one was all about the difference between a flat sales commission percentage versus using quota attainment, which is the template we're using for our example is a quota attainment sales plan template. And we also looked at pay mix and how that relates to total target cash, TTC, or OTE on tar target earnings. If you saw the first video, this example looks very familiar. I'm just going to keep going. With this one, we determine the green cells as what we've entered, and the gray and blue is being calculated. And we determine that this person would have an annualized total target cash of 100000 So that is if they met their target for sales, then this is the amount they should get paid annually for base and commission incentive. And then we filled out, we used a 90-10 pay mix. So 90% of that 100,000 goes to base pay and 10% goes to their commission target. In this next section, I just wanted to mention the information over here to the right. First, I would actually look at what you want the target sales volume to actually be in order to pay out this TTC amount, the base and incentive ideally, what would you want the annualized sales sales volume to be for that? And this can obviously vary widely on the company. It depends how much the product costs, the profit margin. Is it a highly technical product that needs to be sold? That will take extra time and expense. These are just random numbers I plugged in. It's really something to look at individually have it specialized to your company. So I can't really say what a target sales volume should be, but with this template, you can play around with different targets and see how it affects the commission and the compensation. You'll see over here, I have the quota attainment calculating. So quota attainment at target, it's always going to be 100%. If you're setting, saying the target sales volume is 800,000, then if they actually achieve 800,000, that's going to be it. Then they achieved 100%. Now, if they achieved less than that, what you can set up here in this first green box is what is the minimum sales volume that you want to be met before any commission is starts calculating. So for here, I've entered 400,000. You know, it's still below target, but if they get to this much, they can start getting commission on the amount of sales over 400,000. So you're not paying a commission on sales under that amount. So you could lower this amount. You don't have to have a threshold or a minimum amount, kind of an optional thing, but that's one thing to consider. And then the other thing that's also optional is if you want to have a higher sales volume amount where you're going to be paying out a higher commission percentage for someone going above and beyond. So this kind of relates to leverage, which is over here. For this example, I've entered a leverage of two. And so what this means is leverage is, is typically two to three times. And it's just taking the let's see incentive potential at excellence if I click on the formula, it's just taking what the target is in times two or times three. So that's how much more you would want to pay. You'll see at two times, if they reach this 1 million excellence target, they're going to get 20,000 in incentive because that's above their target. So their TTC would end up being 110,000. Now you're probably saying, why is it not 120? It's because we're counting that 10,000 at the target plus an additional 10,000 at excellence. So yeah, it's basically taking the leverage times the target. So if I put three, then it increases the incentive potential at excellence is 30,000 total. So that's including all the commission, including target and below target. And, and so it's kind of broken out into those three different sections. So at 1 million, that's 125% of the target. So let me scroll down here to this section. It'll help it make 
some sense if this is confusing this is just this graph is just breaking out the the bottom part is the sales volume so the threshold we had set to 400,000 versus the total target cash which is the amount that they can receive at so at threshold and not any higher they're getting that 90,000 base because they're 90 percent 90 10 pay mix and then on target they're going to be right at 100 and then we did three times leverage at Uno's at two, three times leverage is bringing them to 120,000 when they're at that excellent sales volume. So this calculation here for the target commission, this is referring to, it would be applying this 2.5% to sales that occur above 400,000 because there's a threshold. So it's actually saying any sales between 400 and 800,000 is going to be calculating at 2.5%. And because we switched that to a 3% leverage, any sales between 800 and 1 million is going to be a 10%, but it's only applying to the sales above target of 800,000. So I hope so far this is making sense. <laughs> See, I also have this chart right here. So it's just going to be showing the information we entered above just as a summary, checking that, you know, if they meet their actual sales volume threshold, this is what they're going to be getting their base pay. If they meet their target, then they're going to be getting 100,000, which was their TTC. If they meet the excellence sales volume, they're going to be getting up to 120,000 TTC. Okay, so with this example, we have a different tab and page to, for up to 20 tabs. You could do this per individual employee or just per job. Or position like the ideal pay mix because you may want to have the same pay mix for people in the same roles but maybe you have different target sales volumes based on what sales territory each person has so maybe different target sales volumes are are realistic for different areas so I hope that helps explain how the threshold, the target, and encouraging that excellent sales volume amount, how that can really tie into what you pay with sales commission. This is the second video. I'll probably do one more video because I didn't really cover the actual page that we have to track the actual volumes. So the template can be used for tracking actuals or just modeling like with this page. Oh, and let me show you one more thing how this changes if I change the payment. So say you said 10% incentive is $10,000 is really not that much of an incentive considering they're getting 90,000 base pay. If we change this to something more of an aggressive sales model, maybe a 70-30, then look at how much this excellence pay increased to 160,000. So that happened just by lowering the base pay and then by lowering the base pay, the target increased. And then the leverage was three times the target. So so now they may be, you know, they may be a lot more motivated to hit those sales targets. Looking at like changing the pay mix like that. You'll see the quota attainment is still staying about, the percentages are still staying the same over here. It's, and really the TTC, the target amount stayed the same. But if they get to the threshold, they're not getting that 90,000 base. They're getting a low, a lot lower base because we lowered the pay mix. And so if we come down and look at the chart, when we change that pay mix, it's a lot steeper progression over here. Once they get past that 800,000, then it's progressing a lot more. That 30% is technically it's only applying to amounts between 800 and 1 million. So still, if they are earning 400 to 800, then it's applying the 7.5%. And like I said, I made these sales volumes up so you can split this out, do something totally different. You could change the targets to higher or lower and see, see how that affects the commission, the recommended commission targets. 
So you can make it 200% to get to the excellence. And you'll see that kind of lowered the commission target here, but it still is about the same on target. So if you want to go ahead and grab this template, because it is easier to plug in your own numbers and see what happens with this, you can get that at timesavingtemplates.com over here, go to the shop and then human resources. I'll also link to it directly in the comments. So just go to the comments too. And it's the sales commission quota attainment template. And we also have some free resources. You can find those at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. And we have a compensation metrics cheat sheet. That's actually for non-sales compensation, as well as a free guide to getting started with Excel. So go check that out if you have a chance and want to sign up for those. Until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets for small business, for your HR compensation tasks, or as well as rental property management. And stay tuned for the next video where I'll finish going over some of the other details with the sales quota attainment template, as well as the first video in the series that was more about pay mix. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.